In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Tory Lanez and the recent events that he has been in centered around colorism. So he recently was on The Shave Room because of a post that he made and he posted the video with the caption and it reads... This is an ongoing problem in our community of entertainment that needs to stop. As a black man, sometimes I'm going to joke about the black community just like we all do. But what I'm not going to do is allow any of these directors to devalue our black women. Countless times I've seen directors swamp out our women of color for women of lighter complexion or women with straighter hair, etc. It's our responsibility as artists to stand up and not let this happen. It's been time to embrace our women of color. Black is beautiful. The number one issue that I have with this is that Tory Lanez tried to make a mockery out of colorism. He tried to receive sympathy from black women he tried to get black women back on his side after he made that whole comment regarding Aisha Curry and we all knew he wasn't joking because he has said some very colorist things in the past with some of his songs that he's been on with YG and just some of the songs that he has done in the past he hasn't been the one to cast a dark-skinned woman so it was all planned and plotted and it's truly disgusting recently the beautiful brown skinned girl that was in the video she called out tori lanes for the fake story and blogs started to pick it up because it was all made up it was used for a publicity stunt because tori lanes was again recently in the blogs because he made a very very rude comment towards Aisha Curry and the comment was left actually under a post of his I believe or it was under the shade room or whatever the case may be it was under something and he responded to the fan and he was saying well he was jokingly saying I don't think he was joking I think he was being realistic he was being real he was being his true self he said that this can be arranged so he was basically agreeing with the white guy he was saying we the white community would like to trade her to the african americans for aisha curry and it was just a slap in the face because it's like okay we'll take the white girl that's twerking over a black woman who actually has her shit together and she carries herself fairly well she's a success you know and in most cases black women we get mocked we get called thoughts we get called hoes for twerking i mean look at megan stallion like she gets a lot of hate and criticism for twerking but you guys want to trade in a white girl for twerking and make it seem like it's not thought behavior but when a black woman does it it's thought behavior it's crazy to me and then you want to trade her in you want to trade this white girl that twerks in for an Aisha Curry which is like she's like close to Michelle Obama I mean make it make sense and this is what I be saying when it comes to some black men not all you guys contradict yourselves and you make yourself look so stupid because you're not making any sense why is it that a lighter complected woman gets a pass for doing the exact same shit a darker complected woman does? So it's okay for the white girl to twerk, but when Megan Stallion does it, it's too black. It's too much. It's ridiculous. 
Like, I don't understand it. It does not make any freaking sense. You guys have this deep rooted hate towards black women. It's disgusting because we make this shit. Like, we create this shit. Y'all get this shit from us. It don't matter who you go out and get, white, foreign, whatever the fuck, the originators are black women. I think the most contradicting thing though is you guys be going to these designer stores, be trying to get that Gucci belt, trying to get them Louis this, Louis that, you know, and y'all want the real thing when it comes to your clothes, your shoes, your, your belts, your little handbags and shit. But when it comes to a black woman having the real thing, you know, the real thing, not the knockoff shit, but the real thing, y'all don't want nothing to do with that. It don't be making no sense, but you'll break your fucking neck going into a designer store to get you the nice pair of shoes, that nice custom jewelry. But when it comes to the organic shit of a woman, when it comes to having a woman that twerks, that's thick, that's naturally thick and all of that shit. Y'all want to go get the knockoff shit. Shit, that shit so backwards. It don't make no damn sense to me. I'll be sitting there thinking, I'm like, oh, so you'll break your neck to get that Gucci this, Gucci that, that Louis this, Louis that. When it comes to having an original, when it comes to having an original woman, a black woman that's naturally thick, naturally full lips and all that. Y'all want to go, y'all want to go get the knockoff shit. Y'all want to get the type of women that be in DR or wherever the hell they go to get the work done you know like it don't be making no damn sense like make it make sense or you want to get you a, a cardi b that damn near lost her life you don't even know what's in her ass she could die any day now y'all don't know it don't be making no sense like make it make sense stop being contradicting this is why when it comes to black women and them being upset when it comes to black men i'm so understanding of it because y'all do this shit and it is so backwards like it don't make no sense and it makes y'all look weak it makes you look stupid when it comes to toy lanes i'm not surprised I'm like look at him first of all he not cute i'm just throwing it out there he not cute let's keep it a book He's not cute. You come for Aisha, I'm gonna come for you. You're not cute. You're not cute. Okay, you're short. You probably got the short men syndrome. I'm just calling it what it is. Secondly, who are you? You know what I mean? I mean, you make cool little songs or whatever, but a lot of your songs are remakes. So I really don't care for you like that. So me canceling you is pretty easy. But this just goes to show when it comes to black women and who we support, it holds a lot of weight. You know, these black men that we support, they can't really do shit. Like we put food on their table, you know, like we are able to financially support them, you know, by us paying them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's funny to me. Like, why would you fake this all because you need that money, huh? It's always a black woman that has to help a black man to be financially secure. It's so funny to me, but we could we woke at this point we not doing that shit no more and it's just so interesting because this whole situation is just childish to me it's like you went out of your way to pretend to care about colorism to get in good graces with black women but you couldn't actually care like it takes more energy to fake it to come up with a story than to actually care actually caring is a natural act which doesn't really take much energy because it's the natural thing that you do but to fake it, you have to sit there, you have to plot, you have to scheme, you have to think of a good plan. Like, hmm, how can I narrate this? It's just a lot of planning that goes into it. But you couldn't be real, you couldn't be honest. That's fake as fuck. I don't understand it. And then when it comes to colorism, I get blamed. Like people seek me out, like, oh, she's only speaking on colorism because it's trending. No. First of all, I have these conversations off YouTube. I have these conversations when I'm not making money. It's not like I just get on YouTube, talk about colors, and this is the only time I talk about it. No, I talk about it all the time. I was just talking about it at Starbucks today. I was talking to a brown skinned girl and we were having a conversation about the pressure of dark skinned women in social media, which I'll be speaking in my next video. I'll be talking about that in my next video, but I was talking about that. I wasn't getting paid for that. I wasn't getting paid to give my opinion on that. So I don't like it how Tory Lanez makes us 
lighter complexed people or people who are lighter complexed look bad. Like this is a real issue and I really strongly care about it. I have friends, families that are, I have friends and family members that are affected by colorism negatively, you know, and who's to say I won't have kids one day who will be affected by colorism negatively. For me growing up, I was darker, you guys, like I was not always this light skin. When I started aging, I started getting lighter and lighter and lighter. I will say that as a child, I was rough around the edges. So I'm rolling around in the dirt. I'm playing flag football with the boys. I'm playing basketball with the boys. I'm outside with the boys. So I was really brown skin. And I'll have to post a picture of what I'm talking about. But I was darker complected. So at the end of the day, people can say I'm light skinned this or people can say I'm not. Whatever the case is, it don't matter to me. I'm black. You know, that's what matters. I'm black at the end of the day. I will have black kids at the end of the day. All this other, oh, you this color, you're this shade. All that shit don't matter to me. I am black. When white people view me, I'm black. So this is an issue for me because I'm black. Colorism is an issue for me because I am black it's that simple like I really want to get a shirt that says bitch I'm black because I'm black like I don't know how else to put it I have a privilege yes when it when I'm compared to a darker complected woman black woman but at the end of the day I'm still black and white people especially who are racist will view me as such they will view me as the n-word so it doesn't matter like that's what i'm saying when it comes to this whole colorism thing i give it my attention because i know it's an issue and i know it affects other people negatively but i don't give it an attention to where it's like oh i'm condoning the shit you know what i mean so yeah i'm lighter complected but i really have an issue with people who believe in colorism they they do colorist things they I just, I don't believe in that. It's foul and I don't like it. And when people do foul shit, I like to call them out on it. And this is what this video is about. So when it comes to Tory Lanez, stop fucking supporting his music. Let's start there. Let's actually join together and stop supporting his music. He doesn't care. He made a mockery out of colorism. And when it comes to brown skinned women, he doesn't like you. And if you don't like brown skinned women, then I don't like you because I'm black. I'm a black woman. So if you don't like brown skinned women, I don't like you. That's just how it is. That's my rule of thumb. That's just how I, that's my rules. That's what I live by. So this really, this pretty much completes this video, you guys. And I would love your opinion on this topic. Do you think more people are going to be doing this? They're going to make a mockery out of colorism or they're going to try to pull a publicity stunt to gain more sales? Can I, I can't be believe i'm saying that more sales comment down below i want your opinion on this situation thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you're notified when i upload thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video